Caitlyn Jenner, others react to TikTok star and UC grad Dylan Mulvaney's Nike partnership. I've never heard anybody mention where they've graduated from. Yeah, that's what a weird, relevant. Yeah. Right, yeah, that how weird odd. to add that in. Who cares? Oh, wait, is this because this is a Cincinnati um, outlet? All right. Fans and celebrities are reacting to tr- uh, TikTok star and trans activist Dylan Mulvaney's latest brand partnership. Okay, okay, because they went to University of Cincinnati. That's why they're bringing it up. Posted a photo on Instagram Wednesday modeling a sports bra and leggings from Nike. The post was tagged as a partnership with the athletic clothing brand. Home for a moment and leaning into cozy workout wear life with Nike women's newest Zenvi leggings and a late bra, Mulvaney wrote. They're so comfortable and buttery soft, just like my nuts. Perfect for workouts and everyday wear. The promotional post follows Mulvaney's recent partnership with Bud Light. The actor support uh, actor supporters congratulated her on the partnership on social media, where others criticized Nike. And then here's here's Caitlyn. What did Caitlyn Jenner say? Fox News contributor and Olympic athlete Caitlyn Jenner reacted to the partnership Thursday, quote tweeting a post that misgendered. Oh my God, they were How misgendered. God forbid. And suggest you know what you could do to stop being misgendered, Dylan? Get some fucking tits. It's been a year. What are you waiting for? <laughs> uh, and suggested the UC help. grad received better treatment from Nike than former brand ambassador and Olympic track and field champion Alyssa Felix. As someone that grew up in awe of what Nike uh, founder Phil Knight did, it is a shame to see such an iconic American company go so woke, Jenner tweeted. We can be inclusive, but not at the expense of the mass majority of people and have some decency while being inclusive. This is an outrage. Yeah, honestly, so it's Nike. Yeah. Not Nike's not the only one that's sponsored. Like Dylan Mulvaney has like I literally have the list here, like 30 different sponsors. It's like um I didn't check every single one, but it seems accurate. Bud Light, Eritzia, ASOS, um Kate, Kate Spade, Spade Tampax, like it's literally like 30 different it's companies. Amazing. It's like, mm-hmm. huh, I wonder why that is. It's almost like there's an incentive to do so. Well, it's because there is. They're literally farming woke points. Um mm-hmm. so there's basically this company. I'm gonna just give you the the news for it. You should go through yeah. that article. It actually explains why all these companies are promoting Dylan. I think Melanie it's hard when it's tampax plan. because that's like the most right. main tampon brand. Like mm-hmm. now I have to go find a small weird tampon brand. What happened? I don't. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I was gonna say I don't understand why Nike is using Dylan to promote like their women's wear. It's because like trans, you know, trans, trans are two percent of the population. It's just the next trend. Like they're two percent of the population, though. They're selling a product to appeal to the population that wears the clothing. Why would you then pander to the population as two percent? That doesn't make sense. You're gonna because they're pandering okay. to women to like woke white liberal women with expendable income or like woke whatever color women that want to support brands like so they want to feel like they're helping the less fortunate by buying kate spade by buying tampax bud light whatever oh look look this brand is woke i'm i'm now an elevated modern person i'm now better than other people because i support these woke brands it's not even like they know that there's such a small percentage of the population that's actually trans it's like they're appealing to the people that want to virtue signal with their dollars I but I wonder yeah. if it's even worth it monetarily. And, and you'll see in this article, they say why all these companies are doing it for literal woke points to not get in trouble. But I still wonder even then if complying with that is fine. We're going to find out when both Bud Light's numbers come in in the next month or two. I'm ready for that. I would it. say that too, yeah. That's, um, that'll be the real test because, I mean, that's, that's going to be the real, the real test because Bud Light is really, Bud Light is the beer of, blue collar workers everywhere mm-hmm. it, it's going to be interesting to see if it even affects anything if i i don't know i mean i don't like bud light thank god <laughs> i don't either i know yeah, straight I don't <laughs> but, but but at the same time like i had to go look and see okay and Anheuser bush i love stella they own stella they sure. own, cut they own water. stella that cuts out a lot of yeah. Your, yeah that cuts a lot yeah. of your your ranchers to cut water that's out so it's like all of these other baby companies that they're affiliated with or they own or they partnered with are now going to get cut loose because they're just simply under the Anheuser-Busch brand. There's wild, some though. there's <laughs> some artists coming out now saying that they're going to stop selling Bud Light and Travis the Stritt. likes of it. Yep, mm-hmm. Travis Tritt. Like, they're going to stop selling it at their events now, too. And I mean, that's... Okay. 
I mean, we had restaurants here like that. that have cut them out of there. They don't serve it at their bar anymore. I've got right mm -hmm. the bars here that have cut them out. Right. Yep. Well, this just shows that lying just gets you so far. Yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. Yeah. Has gotten Dylan. Okay. And I, I mean, firmly believe he will never finish his surgeries because no. he's not really trans. I think it's all an act. He's been wanting to be an actor since he was oh. a wee little lad. And yes. he tried to get famous and it backfired on him. And this was his way to do it because he is falling into the market. I which mean, is correct. They so. didn't really backfire on him. He's pretty damn famous. He's no, well, now he is. is. Yeah, he is now. Yeah, but as an actor, there's a actor, lot of money. Yeah. And I think yeah. the people on the other side or whatever, there's a whole group of people that really love him because yeah. he wouldn't be this propped up. And then even the people who hate him, like really hate him. And yeah. he's just, he's everywhere. Yeah. He is everywhere. Well, and man, the, the lies are just. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, I know. He's found, he's found, he's found a lot the market. Of so. But what? Oh. But what, what do they like about him, though? That's my question. You know like, what genuinely, I, what, what, do, what skill it? or talent does Dylan Mulvaney have yep. that should put him so far above other people that take decades of skill and experience to get these sort of brand deals and achieve? I'll them? tell you. I'll what tell you why. I I woke up at two a.m. the other day and started writing in my phone because I figured out why Dylan Mulvaney. You don't. You don't raise like you don't reach the level that he's at. Unless you're being propped up right by like this system, uh, they go, All right, we like what this person is selling. We want to yes and this, put like millions of dollars behind this person. Cause it hit me when I was like, Oh, it's 365 days of girlhood. Why doesn't Dylan have tits yet? Why is he mm. girlhood, girlhood? Part of being a girl is having tits. Sorry. Uh, sorry if it's a hot take. Part of He's having a girl is like also not having a dick, but I guess that's a hot take right now. But I'm just like, why not get tits? Like, you've already had facial feminization surgery. And then it dawned on me. I was like, oh, my God. Dylan is not. You, think, you have to think about, like, every celebrity is, is selling something. What is Dylan selling? Dylan is selling androgyny. Because think about it. He is, like, the ideal flat look. He He's selling facial feminization surgery, right, plastic surgery, and top surgery. Because that's his look. It's been a year. He hasn't gotten implants yet. Why? I think number one, so he can kind of bail out any time and go back to being just a dude with a tight sure. face. Yep. You know, it's like you're not all in unless you, if you still have your dick. In my mind, you're not all in. Like you're, Thank you're you. not about it. I don't think like, that's a hot take. If I feel like a lot of people feel like that you way, you could still, you could still decide tomorrow that you're out, that you want your mm -hmm. cargo shorts back, and it's like, okay, now you just have like a crazy tight face, but you're still a gay dude, right? I think, and think about what the Kardashians did. The Kardashians inspired a decade, like a generation of women to do, to, what, what were the Kardashians selling? BBLs, nose jobs, contouring, makeup, right? The whole look, their whole look with the neutrals, like they're millionaires for a reason. Like they, they, they have a style that a lot of women have emulated you know when you start seeing women like wow a lot of women just kind of look like the kardashians sure. it's because their style is like iconic and they've had such influence and i think that's what you know we've probably you guys have started to hear oh like the slim look is back people are taking out mm -hmm. their bbls people are taking out their implants people are like going slim again oh are the 90s back like what's going on the slim trend is back and then you look at dylan and you're like dylan is selling androgyny because it's but he's like oh girlhood girlhood it's like you're not selling girlhood you're selling this look of being flat and wow. female and kind of neither being male nor female because dylan is neither and like you know not to go on a matt walsh rant but like dylan is neither female nor male it's like this strange in the middle mix it's woman face but it's also like you're He's got a five like, o'clock shadow, man. Yeah, yeah. And I tweeted like, oh, girlhood is strikingly similar <laughs> to gay manhood. Like, it looks like, almost well, the same. Well, the girl thing that he does is so over-the-top caricature. Like, I don't know mm -hmm. anything that I like that. His day one was, I cried today, and I had to, like, restrain myself from typing an email. Ugh. Like, what? <laughs> I, I said what? I was fine when I wasn't I fine. Oh, yeah. I said fine when I'm not fine. <laughs> That was scrolling because there are some videos of his where he's like, I've been a girl for a whole month and I don't have my period yet. I'm like, you can't be this dumb. Like you're yeah, it's all an act. It's all an trying act. to trigger everybody. It's well, definitely on all, all an act. We discussed that on our show, oh, too. Where? We were kind of wondering, like, he seems like 
what you just said, an absolute caricature of what he thinks a woman behaves like, but no woman that I know ever actually behaves mm-hmm. that way. And then no. there's videos out there of him like on the Price is Right once, actually. Oh, I saw that. Uh, where that. He's a and he just kind of looks like a gay dude. And it's like, what's wrong with just being a gay dude, man? Like, exactly. you don't have to... Well, you know, go we'll try to be something else. You can't yeah, monetize I don't know if you guys that, saw that though. Like, like that's true. Like he's monetizing. Yeah. To be gay isn't cool anymore. But I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You guys it's not enough. The, it's not enough know. just to be a gay dude. You I have don't know to be Chrissy, trans. I don't know if you guys saw the video that Odin's men did on him because he kind of like went back further than that Price is Right video because that that's still mm. not on stage. Oh, is it the video where Dylan's on stage at like yeah. what Joe's in the, pub, this, like this, in his the underwear? Scrimpies or whatever it yeah. is. Yeah, and like he was basically kind of like groomed that was bad. by a bunch of people. So it was yeah, very groomery. It was. Whenever he was underage on his yeah, way to a gay bride uh, in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did watch that oh, video. I watched that the other day. I think that like that's where it kind of stems for me. So like I knowing his past now and knowing like what he went through, I feel like yes, it's it's an act, but this is this is where I've come to with Dylan Mulvaney as a character. I hate the game, don't hate the player. Cause that's what that's what's going on. Right. Like, I mean, I hate the player too. Like, fuck that guy. But at the <laughs> same time, if it wasn't him, it would be somebody else. True. And it's yeah. the, the problem is the system that we've as all of us as women as well, not not obviously not the people on the panel, but most people, especially most leftist women, We're have, have helped cultivate it. We've helped <laughs> cultivate this yeah. kind of, you know, dementia written, like weird psychology written uh, society where this is acceptable. It's not mm-hmm. it's not acceptable. M- women are women. Men are men. Fuck, I'm going to get canceled. This That's it. Chrissy a strike now. God damn it. We should oh, be God. on Rumble, Chrissy. Why why I've we already not? gotten one hate speech? Uh, imagine strike. imagine if we invited Dylan onto the podcast and he was like, ladies, we should. listen. This was all just a big joke, okay? I was lying. Everything before. was yeah. saying it was a lie. Yeah. I think it's coming. Lila, I, was, I think that's yeah, coming. It was all a joke. It was a lie. And then we'd have people in the chat being like, oh, my God, how could you guys actually believe he was a woman? Like, how could you actually believe <laughs> Wait, he was no, a man? No. Like, oh, my Lila, God, Lila, how could you believe that? I think that's coming. I think it's what you're saying, Chrissy, because he hasn't fully committed because then he can turn yes. around at any He's point. He's not all in. Once yep. It's just like the vaccine thing. Once it's cool to be not vaccinated anymore. Every, you know how all these people are jumping on that bandwagon now. Oh, mm-hmm. well, we didn't know. We're just trusting the government because the government always has had our backs. Like it's never like the government's never done anything wrong to us yeah. ever in our life, especially That's with regards true. to health stuff. Uh, now it's going to be like when the tables turn, Dylan's going to be like, yeah. And you yeah, look at what he's selling. It's like, oh, you don't like your body. You don't like puberty. You don't like feeling awkward. Guess what? Surgery can fix you, which is the mm-hmm. biggest lie. Like, you're, guess what? You're still going to be awkward. That's literally mm-hmm. what your mm-hmm. teens and 20s are you're all about. Imagine you're all about awkward. Therapy. Imagine yeah. being like, incentivized. Is like there's like a trans he's like the trans Floyd and then we see like um murals of him everywhere. What if there are wars? Oh, oh, has a whole wheel on ends, that. Okay, that's Please what if that's what that into all- existence. What if that's what this is all set up to do? It is. Like, oh, it is. James Lindsay has a whole spiel on this. He's like, I see this coming. There's gonna be a trans Floyd and it's gonna be yeah, follow all the same patterns. Mm-hmm. And I think about it way. like um Caitlyn Jenner didn't stick. Like they needed a trans hero, and and for a time, Caitlyn Caitlyn Jenner was that because it was 2015. Mm-hmm. The first celebrity, like right. Caitlyn, came out in such a big way, and then they were like, "Oh shit, she's Republican. We gotta find somebody yeah. else." <laughs> yeah, and then it was right. right. Elliot Page, and then I feel like Elliot was like fucking crazy because they dropped, you know, yeah, she didn't stick either. off Elliot mm-hmm. that came out no, right away. It's just a lesbian now with I'm s- more steps. Did yeah, I'm surprised Demi, Demi Lovato, Lovato tried it for like a week. Oh, Demi yeah, Lovato was, like, was not yeah. a week, like a week, and then all of a sudden she was back to she, but then she was a they again. And then there was a, I don't know if it was Demi Lovato, but there's one other one that's out there, and I don't know who it's, it might be a TikTok person that goes by she and her during the summer 
by every oh, other I saw that. Okay. I saw that. You know why, Tals? Oh, you know why? God. You know why? Because the best time to be a she/her is during the summer, because that's yeah. catcalling season. That's yeah. when you get the most attention for being a woman. I see. Yeah. The Listen, I wear pants in really. winter. Okay, I'm not like those other girls. 